the relationship found between trigonometric ratios and the x and the y coordinate illustrates the fact that angles placed in different quadrants can have the same sine, cosine, and tangent. Same value with equal or different sign. What about if you're asked to solve sine of theta is equal to a half? The question is actually which angle or angles have sine equal to a half? Note that this time you know the trigonometric ratio, but you don't know the angle. If you use your log tables, you can easily find out that sine of 30 degrees is equal to a half. But do you think that that one is the only solution? If you remember what we said about the sign of different trigonometric ratios and the relationship between that and the unit circle, you could think about where else is sine positive? If you remember the diagram, it says cast. Therefore, sine is also positive in the second quadrant, which means this equation here, which is in fact called a trigonometric equation because your unknown is an angle, will have a solution also in the second quadrant. What happens if you type in your calculator sine of 150? If you type in your calculator sine of 150, you will get a half. Therefore, the other solution we were looking for was theta is equal to 150. And remember, we also have theta is equal to 30. So we have two solutions, 1 and 2. Now, if you know 30, how can you get 150? Because most of the time, your log tables or your calculator, if you try to solve this type of equations, they are only going to give you one of the solutions. So let's draw both angles. If we consider theta, this angle here, to be 30, and then phi here to be 150, can you see any relationship between theta and phi? So you could actually obtain phi just by knowing theta. Just note that half of a revolution is the same as 180. And also that this angle left here is exactly the same as this one here. And therefore it would also be 30 degrees. With this, can you see any relationship between 150 and 30? So you can get 150 by just using 30. If you look at this, 150 is actually the same as taking 30 from half of a revolution. So 150 is the same as 180 minus 30. In general, for any angle in the second quadrant, phi, we can write that phi is equal to 180 minus theta where theta is an angle on the first quadrant. Similarly, if we consider an angle in the third quadrant, like phi here, then phi can be written as half of a revolution, which is 180 degrees, plus this angle here, which is exactly the same as this one here, theta. So phi can be written as 180 plus theta, where phi is an angle in the third quadrant and theta is an angle in the first quadrant. We consider now an angle in the fourth quadrant, then phi can be written as a whole revolution, 360 degrees, minus this angle here, which is the same as this angle here. So 
phi can be written as 360 minus theta, where phi is an angle in the fourth quadrant, and then theta is an angle on the first quadrant.